Now, dear children, we go to the mix. The next, the most important part of this chapter, where the verification of uh, photoelectric effect, the proof of photoelectric effect or the phenomenon photoelectric effect was made by one of the great scientists, as you know, that is Albert Einstein. So, Albert Einstein was one of the scientists, okay, put, who put forward it, the idea of hypothesis which was proposed by Max Planck, that is called Planck's photon hypothesis. And he also I put, uh, put forward this idea to explain the uh, phenomenon called photoelectric effect, which was unexplained. There was some defect, a uh, drawback that was found in the experimental observation made by uh, Leonard and Hertz. Okay, so in the year it, 1905, so I am writing the year 1905. So 1905 is the year when Albert Einstein, all but what Einstein, one of the great scientists. Okay, so he was the person who put forward it, the idea of this Planck's quantum hypothesis or theory to explain photoelectric effect. So according to this theory, as you know, according to Planck's quantum theory, I have learned already in the last YouTube video also, it said that light travel in the form of small bundles or packets of energy. And these energies are called photons. And light means the radiation. And additionally, the light or radiation travel with a speed. And the speed of light or radiation in air or vacuum is how much? 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay, but as for the quantum theory, at uh, max, uh, quantum theory, as I said, light uh, in the form of bundle of packets of particles which are called photons, and the energy of each photon, as I said, is H nu that we have learned already, where nu is the frequency of the light, and H is a constant called Planck's universal constant. So, this concept was completely put forwarded by uh, the scientist called Albert Einstein. So, according to Albert Einstein, to explain photoelectric effect, he said that when a photon when a single photon, let me just use the word, when a single photon falls on a metal plate, suppose you have a metal plate, when a single photon of energy H nu falls on a metal plate, according to him, he said that it transfer, it transfer the whole of the energy that is H nu to any one of the electron present in the what metal plate, which means any one of the electron absorb this energy of photon H nu okay of the metal plate and as soon as the energy absorbed by the uh, elect any by the electron present in the metal plate okay then the part of the energy that is absorbed by the electron that is the part of the energy means this energy as new absorbed by the any one of the electron of the metal plate okay that electron utilize that part of the energy in ejecting the elect ejecting itself from the what plate metal plate ejecting itself from the metal plate but for ejecting also you need energy and that energy is called what function? Work function. What function? Work function. So children remember this part. Work function is the minimum energy required to eject the electron. Just to eject the electron. But out here we are actually explaining what? Try to understand photoelectric effect. So the electron, ejected electron has to move with the maximum kinetic energy. So the remaining energy okay, of the ejected electron is utilized to move with the what energy? Maximum kinetic energy. With the and what energy? Maximum what? Kinetic energy. So, its observation was very simple. Okay, as I said that when energy of one photon, one photon as new incident on the metal plate, any one of the electron of present in the metal plate absorb this much energy. Okay, as new energy. So that absorb energy okay is utilized by this electron to eject from the metal plate and for that we need a word function and the remaining energy of this H nu is utilized to move with the maximum kinetic energy okay now the next part that you need to keep in mind out here is that all the electrons ejected from the metals are not ejected from the surface means all the met electrons are not ejected from the surface okay but also ejected from the interior of the metal also from the interior of the what metals. So under this case, what happened? The electron which is are ejected from the interior of the metals need to expand some amount of energy in collision with the what? Atoms on the way on the surface. On the way on the what? Surface. Thus, electron with different energies are emitted from the metals. 
That's why, you know, this was the observation which was made by Hertz and Leonard also. When whatever electron that is ejected from the metal are not moved with the same kinetic energy. They move with a different kinetic energy. Yes, that is exactly true even in case of Albert Einstein's equation. Means electron will not only eject from the surface of the metal, it also eject from the interior of the metals. But if any electron eject from the interior of the metal, that electron has to support number of collisions. Okay, in that case, there is some amount of energy loss takes place when they are coming out from the interior of the metal to the surface. Okay, that's why one that electron ejected electron come out and move with a certain kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy is not same for all the electrons, all the what electrons. That's why the electron is it emitted from the surface of the metal has maximum kinetic energy. So which electron has maximum kinetic energy? The electron moves with the which is ejected from the surface of the what metal, because the energy is not lost by collision. Now, with this observation made by Albert Einstein, or Albert Einstein made an equation that is called Einstein's photoelectric equation, and this Einstein's photoelectric equation completely explains the phenomenon called photoelectric effect. So, whatever statement I made, I just want to write mathematically. So, for that, I have assumed already out here that E k is the symbol we are using for maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons emitted from metal surface. W is the symbol we are using for work function of the metal. Work function of the metal means the energy that is required to eject the photoelectron from the metals. Okay, and H nu is the energy of the incident photon. So according to Albert Einstein's energy of the incident photon, that is H nu, is equals to equals to how much W, the minimum energy required to eject the electron from the metal plate, plus the energy that is required to move the electron with the maximum kinetic energy. That means this much energy is utilized by the electron. To eject from the metal plate, that is equal to work function plus the ejected electron has to move with the maximum kinetic energy from the surface, that is E k. So H nu equals to W plus E k. So from here I'll make E k as the subject. If I make E k as the subject, then W I'll take in the left hand side, so it will be minus W. So E k equals to H nu minus W. Okay. Now children, we can compare this equation with the equation even formed by Hertz and Leonard, and the equation formed by Hertz and Leonard was E k equals to A nu minus B. Yes, we can compare these two equations. So, if you compare these two equations, you can now clearly understand that A, which was a universal constant according to Hertz and Leonard, was actually nothing but H. That is called what constant? Planck's constant, and the value is 6.6 .6 into the minus 34 joule second. And B is the work function, and that is also equals to W. Means B equals to W, and which is nothing but the work function, work function of the metal. So under this case, we can write this B or work function equals to H nu naught, because B was A nu naught. So I am replace A by H. So work function now children is given by H nu naught, and this work function which is expressed in terms of H nu naught is in terms of what threshold frequency. And this new knot is called what frequency? Threshold frequency or minimum frequency. But when there is a frequency, there is a wavelength. And if I express wall function in terms of wavelength, then that wavelength will be also called threshold wavelength. And children, there is a relation between frequency, speed, and wavelength. Now, threshold frequency equals to speed of light or radiation, which is marked by letter C, by the wavelength that is called lambda naught. And this lambda naught is called threshold wavelength. So, means we can write the wall function even in terms of threshold wavelength. And children, for information, threshold wavelength is the maximum wavelength, whereas threshold frequency is the minimum frequency. So I can even write W equals to H nu naught, but I replace nu naught by C by lambda naught. So look at it, work function can also express by this lesson, H C by lambda naught. Now I'll substitute this value of work function even in the expression of energy. E k equals to what? S nu minus W. Okay. S nu minus W means what? Uh, S nu naught in terms of threshold frequency. So you can see what is common. H is common. So inside the bracket, nu minus nu naught equals to E k. But you know E k is what energy? Maximum kinetic energy. And maximum kinetic energy is also given by half m b max square. And that is equals to H nu minus nu naught. So look at the equation that 
the all potential tensor form to explain photoelectric effect that is half m b max square equals to h nu minus nu naught and this is basically einstein's photoelectric equation but children this equation i can further write in terms of wavelength also h frequency equals to speed by wavelength this frequency equals to speed by lambda naught okay so you can see what is common h c is common inside bracket 1 by lambda no mi lambda minus 1 by lambda naught so even your maximum kinetic energy of photo electron is given by this formula also so both this equation which i have written in bracket are the albert einstein's photoelectric equation okay and this equation is completely in now agreement with the explanation the laws which was formed by uh, lenard and hertz now from here also i can say that if from this equation if you see if nu is greater than nu not then your kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy become positive this become positive means there is a ejection of electron and move electron move with what maximum kinetic energy but if nu is less than nu not if this frequency is less than nu not then this kinetic energy become less than less than zero which means it become negative and you know kinetic energy can never be negative which is not possible that's why threshold uh, photoelectric effect cannot be explained when the frequency of incident light is less than threshold frequency so for the photoelectric effect to be observed the frequency of incident light must be greater than what frequency threshold frequency that's why albert einstein's this equation is completely in agreement with explanation of photoelectric effect and with this explanation albert einstein's got a nobel prize also okay so i have just explained the photoelectric effect or with albert einstein's equation now we do continue with the other topic in the next class